Justin. Whoa. Oh, uh, hey, Sally. What's up? Bob and I were just talking about what we'd do if we won the lottery. Oh, you betcha. Sail the world. <laughs> what would you do if you won the lottery? Uh, you know, gee, I, I never really thought about it. But, I mean, I guess the first thing I would do would be just start <laughs> drinking again. A lot. And, uh, you know, like, drugs, partying, the whole nine. Except this time around, I would have, like, an assistant or bodyguard of sorts. Like, kind of like Kato from the Green Hornet. And so if I'm at a party or club, it starts getting out of hand. It causes a distraction and, like, just gets me out there. Get out of Dodge. So I have that guy and I, I probably would, you know, just get some kind of big tricked out mobile home. Jacuzzi, Skylight, like, all the Nintendos. And I'll just, you know, paint on the side of it and hop on board the Justin train for the ride of your lives, ladies. And when you said, when you read ladies, the sign, the picture would be wink because it would be like some kind of scanner or sensor that would, it would actually have a camera that would re read your lips. Because most likely, like, the type of ladies that would just jump on board the Justin train at a moment's notice probably move their lips when they read. I'm just assuming. So, like, all the ladies, you know, drinking, partying. Total decadence, hedonism, and then, you know, like, one morning, I would just probably like, come to out of the blackout and just realize, like, oh my god, I am totally bereft spiritually. And I just have Kato pull over the Justin train right on the side of the road, and I would just go out and just leave the, leave the Justin train and go out into the desert and just fast for 40 days and 40 nights, because that's historically what you do, you know? So probably around, like, 30 days... Satan would appear and be like, hey, Justin, all this can be yours if you come, you know, follow me. And I'd be like, yeah, it's okay, man, you know, I already have the mobile home and all this stuff, so, you know, he would be defeated. And then I would just keep on fasting. And eventually, probably, you know, Jesus would appear or like a spirit animal or maybe some third, you know, unknown, you know, sign, epiphany that not related to any specific tradition. And I would all just make sense, you know. And, and I guess then either I'll be, become super spiritual and like ascetic and, you know, like write a book and go on Oprah. Or I would just settle down and live like a good, well-balanced, peaceful life and just try to work and be productive. So that's pretty much it. I think that's how it will go. That's really interesting. I oh, yeah. One other thing. When I first got the lot of money and quit my job, I would commission a series of solid bronze statues of myself, nude, in various insulting poses, and bolt them to the floors outside the offices of my enemies at work. That'll be my hot pocket. Huh.